to create this Henry Rousseau inspired monkey drawing, I'm using a brown paper bag. This is a great surface to work on because it's nice and thick. In art, anything that is flat that we draw or paint on is called a ground. Today we're gonna start off by creating a texture on the surface of our ground. And to do that, I'm going to use some oil pastels. So I want my monkey brown today, so I'm going to pick out a few different kinds of browns that I want to make my monkey. So the oil pastels um, are a little dirty on one side, so I can actually use the back of my paper to clean them. I should probably write my name on the back. Let's go ahead and clean these. So you can see this one had some green in it. I'm just cleaning one side of the oil pastel. The other side, it doesn't matter if it's dirty. This also gives me a chance to test out my colors. Oh, I like that brown too. Flip it over and I'll start with this brown. I'm just going to put a texture on the surface of my ground. Add some darker brown to it. And I have this color. It's called ochre. It's kind of a yellowish brown. All right, so now I have this great textured ground to work on. First thing I'm going to start off with is a big oval for my monkey's head. Now, when kids draw, they tend to draw about this big on their paper. Today we're going to try and use most of the paper. So when I do this, you'll see I use my finger to get it in my mind first. Sometimes I'll even use a little guide dot. So I'm gonna use black to do this. Maybe I'll put a little dot there. So that way I know I have to start there, come over to the sides, come down, grab this next guide dot and go back up. So it's like I'm going to draw a big C. I do wanna leave room on the side, maybe a couple fingers worth for my monkey's ears. I'm using black so you can see, but you may wanna start off by drawing with a brown. And if I mess up, I'm like, oh no, that kind of goes off the page or it's got a lump in it. It's no big deal because I can just correct this with my oil pastel. Later I can hide this mark or cut off the extra lines. So when I get the oval that I want, I'm just going to press a little bit harder with the black oil pastel. Going over the lines that I wanna keep and just kind of ignoring those lines that are mistakes. All right, next we're going to put the monkey's face on. That's going to be this kind of shape here. It's almost going to be a heart with an oval on the bottom. So I'm gonna start right here and do a little guide dot. My finger's even got some black on it, so it's kind of making this tracing line here, or line that I could trace over. So now I'm about halfway down the circle. I'm gonna go to here, use my fingers to measure, and go to here. So I'm going to make this heart shape attach, just like this. And again, you could go lightly with your oil pastel, you could even get brown if you wanna use brown as a guideline because it won't show up quite as much. And then I'm going to do a big letter C on its side. If you need to turn your paper to make it easier to draw a letter C, you may. And again, you can use the brown first to draw on your line so you can see if you like it. I like that trick with the brown. Now I'll put some eyes in. I'm gonna put my eye about here and here. I'm gonna make my monkey's eyes big today. Actually, what I'll do is I'll grab a white and I flip this over and clean it. I'm gonna fill in my monkey's eyes 
with white first before I add the black. Ooh, that oil pastel is a lot better. You can see the difference in different brands of oil pastels. All right, take my crumbs and tap them into my dish. Make my mon monkey's eyes blue. By going over top of the white with the blue, it makes the blue nice and vibrant. You can make your monkey's eyes whatever color you'd like. All right, now I'm going to go around them in black. If I did the black first, it would have smeared black into my white and I didn't want that. One eye's a little bigger than the other, but it's no big deal. Add its nose. And I can really give my monkey an expression um, with the mouth. I could even add some eyebrows in or change the shape of my eyes if I wanted to think about the expression a little more. I'm gonna make this guy smile today. And I think I'll give it some pink cheeks. Now I don't have a pink in my dish, so I'm going to take some white, add some white, some red over top and then I can even grab my white again and kind of use it to blend because I know I can always clean this later all right my last step I'm going to take a darker brown and color the outside of the monkey's face I'm really trying not to get into the black outlines because it will smear the black around. And you can see that's happening a little bit here. It's no big deal. And if I go outside of the lines, that's also no big deal because I'm going to be cutting this off. I think my monkey needs some ears, so I'll add those onto the side of the head right about here. I don't have a ton of room on this side for an ear, but I'll try and squeeze one in the best I can. And then outline with black. And that's it. Give it a tap. And I'm going to cut it out. Actually, before I cut this out, I'm gonna have a bunch of extra here. I'm just gonna draw in a quick monkey tail. So I got enough room here. That's going to be my monkey's tail later. Okay. So for the leaves, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to prepare a ground. First, I'm going to write my name on the back, clean off my oil pastels. I've got a few different greens here. This kind of helps me see how the colors are going to look. I think I'm going to put a little bit of this ochre color. Here's some yellow. I'm thinking about the different colors that jungle leaves can be. All right start with the lightest color. And these little bits from where I was working before um, shouldn't matter. Thinking about how leaves have different colors of green in them and how they're not all one of the same color. A little bit of yellow. Let's see what some white looks like over top. I'm not worried that I'm getting this white dirty because if I need to use it later, I can always flip over my paper and clean it. All right, 
So now I need to think about how I'm going to draw my leaves on this paper. I think today I'm going to get three leaves. When kids draw leaves, they always go small, they always go in the middle of the paper, and then they cut out these small things in the middle of the paper and don't make use of all of the space. So I'm going to think about how I can use this whole paper to draw giant leaves. I'm actually gonna use this green. And I'm going to draw like a rainbow line like this. And then a line to connect them that smiles. I'm gonna keep this leaf pretty simple. Now, if you want to, you can think about how the edges of different kinds of leaves look. So maybe I wanna do something like that. And then I've got room maybe for two more here, maybe three. I'll put another big one here. Let me make this one a little skinnier. And over here, I'll do another one kind of shaped like this. You can do them however you want, but you do wanna maximize and fill up the whole paper. I'll add some details. And then I can use my other colors to kind of fill in some areas if I want those areas filled in. some white here for a highlight. A highlight is kind of where the sun might be hitting the leaves. Maybe a little brown. I'm going to test it out here first and see how I like it before I add it. Right, so I think I'm done with that. Now I'm just going to outline it in black to make it really stand out. sweep up my crumbs and sweep them into my dish so they don't get on my clothes or on the floor. Now I'm ready for the next step. When I cut out my monkey, I'm going to bubble cut it. That means I'm cutting next to the line, turning my paper as I go around. and the leaves. If it helps, you can separate the leaves first like this. And that might be easier to cut.
Now, before I glue anything down to my background paper, I'm going to put a texture on this ground as well. When I glue, I'm gluing near the edge. So when I press this down, the glue doesn't squeeze out the sides. Flip the whole thing over and rub the back. if you wanted to go back and add any other details, this would be a good time to do it. <laughs> 